Hello all, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Scorpio 1111 and yes I am. I'm a double Scorpio and my birthday is 1111 and my numerology is 1111. 11, triple 11 actually so little little piece of tidbit info on me there. <laughs> Okie dokie, today I have a gentleman who was a farmer. He actually was a pig farmer. Y'all, I cannot make this up. I'm just saying. And he lived somewhere, um, thank you, in the mid, uh, kind of like Arkansas, Iowa area of the country, that area. And, woo, lots of cards, okay. He's um, showing me his, his life, his family. He had lots of kids. He and his wife had lots of kids. They were overall a happy family, a sweet, happy family. Kind of a loud family with all those kids. He's, he's actually telling me that, but, but you know, it was a fun, happy family. And that he, he loved his life. He enjoyed his life. You know, they weren't wealthy, they didn't, you know, have a lot of luxuries in life, but he said it was a good, simple life. It was a good life, and I loved my life. And he's actually showing me, um, <laughs> he had this favorite pig. It was a female, and I don't know, if Bessie or Nessie or something might have been her name. I'm not sure about that, but he's he just liked this pig. You know, I've been told pigs have personalities. You know, they're smart animals, and so... There's something about this particular one that he he liked, and he he would walk up, and uh, he's showing me how he'd walk up and hit, kind of affectionately, slap her on the hind quarter, and she would grunt and kind of make this sound that I don't know. It was just a thing they had together with each other. Um, and he just said, <laughs> and his friends joked about the smell of the pigs and all that stuff and he said yeah he la he laughed along with them he didn't care because he liked what he did and i think he's making the point because pigs are intelligent he said as animals go they're very smart he said there aren't as much work as other animals farm animals are i don't know that's true i'm just that's what he's sprint sell me as far as he was concerned and he liked what he did, very simple. Um, I see y'all lived out, y'all, them, his family lived out into the country, in the country, obviously on a farm. He's showing me the kids had to walk a ways to get to the school bus. But they didn't mind. They didn't mind. They didn't know any different. They didn't know any better. They, they were happy, you know, they were just, Happy kids, happy family. And he had a son that went on to go to college. He, I believe he he did something. I, I don't know that he was a veterinarian, but he did something that had to do with animal husbandry, perhaps, or something like that. He did get a college degree in that. <clears throat> And he's, he's kind of chuckling. He said, yeah, he did better for himself than I did. He's talking about financially. So, um, he was proud of his kids, no matter what, how they turned out. It's, okay, let me see now. Let's see what these cards are saying. So, hmm. <laughs> Bear with me just a minute, please. Okay, so this message is for the son that he's talking about. He is saying he knew it was a difficult decision because you you love the simple life, but yet you he knew that you were smart and he didn't want you to be held back doing what he did. He wanted you to pursue something that would give you a better life. You know, better is a subjective word but but in his mind he knew you could do well for yourself <clears throat> so he didn't want to hold you back but you struggle with that 
because you appreciated how hard he worked. You respected him for how hard he worked. You um, did not look down on him for what he did at all. And it was actually a difficult decision. And then as you went to school, I see that because you lived a good and simple life on the farm, you had temptations. You had um, maybe even struggled with some addictions of your own, but you were at very least tempted um, by, you know, drugs and things that you might not be doing at home, but you get into when you go off to college. But he's saying, but you kept him straight. You would bring him from that from the abyss of that because you would call and you would check on him regularly and you would communicate with him and uh, and and every time he heard your voice you were like a rock to him well let me rephrase it he was a rock to you that's what I meant when you he would call you when you were off at school and you would hear his voice and he was the reminder of that good simple life and it would kind of bring you back into a better place emotionally and mentally and it kept you um, well I won't say it kept you out of getting into a lot of things you might not should have but but it brought you back from the abyss like, as I said earlier that and then at some point you you just realized that wasn't the road you wanted to go down you didn't need those things you didn't want that you knew that it was a choice to do what you had um, within your power to do in other words you had an intellect you had a choice of what you wanted to do with that and so you had the epiphany you had an awakening here to go and pursue <clears throat> those things and to leave these other um, productive we'll, we'll say less productive things behind you and that and when once you got on that straight and narrow and once you straightened yourself out and you realized priorities and got your party straight then you had a lot of choices. Um, yeah, it looks like you you really kind of had the choice of whatever you wanted to do in uh, in life. And when you made your decision about the direction you were going, you you had opportunities, job opportunities that again several is what they're showing me. And then you started, and then things got went from better, good to better. And uh, you you found you went into a profession that you loved. You're very, very happy in that profession. You know, that's when things started turning for you 180 degrees. You, you know, you, you realize this is, um, this card is relating to this card of communication. So it, it's just backing up my message. These, both of these, because usually I do two rows, but that wasn't what happened today. That wasn't where I was pulled. The cards come out for a reason. So, this wheel of fortune started turning in your favor you know again it's backing up twofold message when you got yourself back on track and the reason you got yourself back on track was because when you would hear from your dad and you started to realize that's you know this temptation path was not where you wanted to go you wanted to straighten your life out you wanted to you wanted him to be proud of you too and you knew that you probably had the best chance of anyone in your family to be able to be successful and <clears throat> um, and provide financially and for perhaps your, certainly your own family but even the, the other siblings that you had um, so that's what this wheel is saying that started to turn in your favor once you had that epiphany once you started, you know, when your dad would communicate with you, this, this gentleman that's coming through. And um, he's saying, yeah, and then the, so the sun, this, this is an illumination card. It's also the happiest card in the deck. So you found your happiness, but <clears throat> this communication illuminated what you needed to change and the path you needed to change. And this sun shone brightly, you know, on this devil so it illuminated what you needed to change I hope that's making sense and and you made a choice the two of wands you this is uh, someone having to make a choice choosing a path look see how dreamily she's looking out at that window you know you had a lot of dreams your your parents had dreams for you too and they're saying um, or he's saying rather and you made the right choice they're proud of the choice that you made yeah and uh, and I'm being drawn to this globe, which I really am. So it's telling me that 
you've gotten to go and see things and travel in your lifetime and your family never did, your father, your mother, they never did, that you've gotten to do things that they could have only ever dreamed of. And that um, you, yeah, you're doing well financially. That's not a problem. I think you went on to either you currently have found a woman that you um, want to marry or maybe you already did but this queen of pentacles is showing me she is um she's a lot like you in that she is dependable she's uh, someone you can count on she's nurturing <clears throat> and this can also be a second layer of saying that they these qualities of the queen of pentacles is what you bring back to your family to your siblings um <clears throat> excuse me one second <coughs> pardon me yeah because and here we go we have a divine match here the king and queen of pentacles so i think this is twofold message it's telling me the qualities that you have that you have accomplished the, th the things that you've overcome in yourself as well as the qualities that um, you just naturally had were that you're dependable you're um you're successful you don't need anyone else now because of your accomplishments. You've done well in the world. And the second layer is, I think you found your divine match. Yeah, and, and here's the messages. Is the cards keep going. You found your divine match. You've gotten your, you're started down to your, this is the, um, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, the happy ever after family situation, money, everything is good. Yeah, that you, and he's acknowledging this because they see, you know, they're not here in the physical, but they see what's going in our lives even after they pass. And so this is his way of acknowledging you and telling you he sees what you've accomplished in your lifetime. And he's proud, very, very proud that you walked away, that you made the choice to walk away from these temptations here. And that you walked away and you just turned a corner and you started this brave new uh, journey here. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Let me see if there's anything else Spirit wants to add to that. Yeah, they just want you to know that they see what's going on in your life and how proud they are. He is of you. And um, he sees, uh, he's also telling me he sees that you're also checking in on your siblings and helping them out. And, and that means so, so much to him. I get the feeling that somebody, one of the siblings, you may have had a younger brother who stayed to run the farm, I think, after your dad passed. Um, and he's acknowledging that as well. Yeah, yeah, this other, the other child, I think he's telling me, is, is not married. He's single. Um, yeah, I, that's all, the only thing I'm getting off of that. Okay, folks, well, that was a short one today, but that's the message um, that I got. He's pulling his energy back and saying thank you and telling you how very proud he is of you again um, and that he's going to be checking in on you. He is saying, know that I'm there. I'm watching you. Oh, okay. I think you have something in your house, some kind of knick-knack or little tiny statue or I don't know what it is something of a pig that reminds you of your dad and i don't know if he gave that to you if it was something you gave to him at one point i'm not sure but he's pointing that out to tell you that he's he sees that you have that and that um, it reminds in a loving fun way it reminds um, you of him okay that's it folks thank you all for watching and please hit that like button and uh, subscribe it helps you to push this content out to a broader audience so that the person who needs to hear this can can see it it will hopefully find its way to the right person so thank you all very very much y'all have a great day and i will talk to you soon bye